The Senate has urged the federal government to, as a matter of urgency, send fighter jets to flush out terrorists from their hideouts. The call was made on Tuesday during plenary. It was in resolutions reached following a point of order raised on the urgent need for the federal government to take drastic actions to bring to an end the act of banditry and kidnapping in Faskari local government area. The point of order was raised by Senator Belo Mandia Katsina South. The Senate notes that the act of banditry and kidnapping has become a daily incident now in Katsina with each consequence of loss of lives, means of livelihood, and displacement of communities. Further notes that on Sunday, 31st January 2022, government struck Rongodia, a community in the local government area of Katuna State, where 38 members of the community were kidnapped. Aware that the federal government had made frantic efforts in carving the menace by setting up Operation Sharandaji, an interagency tax force to tackle cases of banditry, cattle rustling, and kidnapping in Katuna State. Worried that the continuous security challenges and related attacks by bandits on towns, villages, communities in the local government area have met on toll hardship on the people and have subjected the affected areas under serious survival threat. Yes. Mr. Yeah. President, I can say that enough is enough. Because what is happening now in Katuna, this shows that yes, we have to not only condemn it, we have to do something very serious. Because we cannot just sit down after declaring these uh, bandits terrorists and then allow them again to continue with all these rubbish acts. So, Mr. President, we have to really look at it critically. I suggest that, yes, to me, I'm saying that, yes, the security agent, of course, maybe we assume that they are doing their best, but to me, I think uh, that they need to do another best. Because look at 38 people. How can they just go and kidnap 38 people? After declaring these people as a terrorist, why can't we just hear the few civilians in the bush and go and bomb all of them there? We have enough security agents to take care of this place. If it is the issue of recruitment in the army, we should also do the same. We have provided support to the security agents. I could remember last year alone, on supplementary appropriation, we uh, approved over 865 billion naira. And this year's budget, I know we have close about 1.2 trillion naira. We suppose we are spending so much and we are getting little in terms of, you know, the outcome. The expectation of this Senate is that there is supposed to be a remarkable difference in success in terms of the fight against insurgency, banditry, and militancy in Nigeria. The military is getting better funding. When we declared the bandits as terrorists, my understanding was that they are going to be dealt with ruthlessly now. I, I wonder whether that is the case. It's not. The military, like some of our colleagues have said, <laughs> need to work up. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.